Thanks for joining Fiber Road Tech Talk. In this case, we will be discussing VLAN. LAN stands for Local Area Network, is a group of network devices, which allow the communication, between connected devices. A VLAN, is a virtual LAN, that allows you to logically segment your network, without the need for physical segmentation. The main difference between LAN and VLAN, is that LAN work on a single broadcast domain, on the other hand VLAN works on multiple broadcast domain. And in a local area network, the packet is advertised to each device. While in virtual local area network, the packet is sent to a specific broadcast domain. A switch identifies packets from different VLANs, according to the information contained in its VLAN tags. A IEEE 802.1Q adds a 4-byte VLAN tag, between the source slash destination MAC address, and length slash type fields of an Ethernet frame to identify the VLAN. Port-based VLANs group VLAN members by port. A port forwards traffic for a VLAN, only after it is assigned to the VLAN. VLAN-enabled ports are generally categorized, in one of two ways, tagged, or untagged. These may also be referred to as, trunk or, access respectively. The purpose of a tagged, or trunked port is to pass traffic for multiple VLANs, whereas an untagged or access port, accepts traffic for only a single VLAN. The voice VLAN enables a single access port to accept untagged, data traffic as well as tagged, voice traffic and associate each type of traffic with distinct, and separate VLANs. By doing this, voice traffic can be treated differently, generally with a higher priority than common user data traffic. The surveillance VLAN enables a single access port to accept untagged, data traffic as well as tagged, video traffic and associate each type of traffic with distinct, and separate VLANs. By doing this, video traffic can be treated differently, generally with a higher priority than common user data traffic. FiberRoad.com